What's up guys and welcome to this tutorial on question 7 uh, which covers electric circuits of the 2017 uh, supplementary exam. Okay, so this question um, starts off with a theory question which I'm going to discuss. I'm not going to write much, uh, maybe a little bit, okay. But basically it says all the torches have bulbs that are filament light bulbs. Okay, then it says 7.1.1 is the filament light bulb an ohmic conductor. Okay, so what is an ohmic conductor? Okay, so an ohmic conductor is a light or a conductor that follows the normal ohm's law, which is V equals IR, and it also follows um, this nice graph of V versus I, so where the gradient is equal to R resistance. Okay, but a filament light bulb, uh, why I said it's a theory question is because we need to know that a filament light bulb is not an ohmic resistor okay and we can also get that because all the technology is basically if it says all there's a chance it didn't follow ohm's law okay so we can say no a filament light bulb is non-ohmic uh, so basically the current through the filament is not directly proportional to the potential difference of voltage across the filament okay as the resistance so basically the resistance changes with temperature okay and this is because we know for an ohmic resistor the gradient is equal to our resistance but for a non-ohmic the gradient is not the same so the gradient changes okay and that comes in with question seven let's see my pen is not working let's see hopefully it's back okay so question 7.1.2 draws on from the previous question and says draw a sketch of voltage versus current okay so like i said before now we're going to have a different gradient okay so let's actually draw okay the question doesn't ask this but let me just do it anyway so for an ohmic resistor what we have is a constant gradient like i've drawn before and for a non-ohmic resistor what we have is we're going to have a gradient we're going to have a changing gradient okay so Okay, so basically as the current increases, the temperature increases, which causes the resistance to increase. Okay, cool stuff. And we get ourselves five marks for all of that. Um, okay, so when used in a torch, the filament light bulb gets hot while the wires connected to the bulb and connecting the bulb to the battery do not. So the light bulb gets hot, but the wires do not, even though the current in both is the same. Okay. So explain the difference in temperature by making use of relevant equations. Okay, so for question 7.1.3. Okay, so the relevant equation, I would say, is going to be the equation P equals I squared R. Okay, so we know that because both the torch, the light, as well as the wires have got a resistance, um, the resistance of the bulb is going to be much higher than the wires okay so we can say the resistance of the bulb is going to be much greater than the resistance of the wire okay and if we look at the previous equation then the power so for the same current so for the same current which the question says for the same current the power or the heat loss of the bulb will be greater than the heat loss of the wires okay that's just because this p equals i squared r okay and yeah so we've answered that question as well so basically what we said is um, the heat dissipation is equal p is equal to i squared r the resistance of the bulb is greater than the resistance of the wires and so for the same current the power or heat loss for the bulb will be greater than that of the wires okay so question 7.2 7.2 okay so three resistors are connected to a 24 volt battery of an, of no internal resistance essentially as shown okay the battery has a or supplies a power so the power of the battery is 60 watt to the circuit the value of the resistance r is unknown and there it is okay so cool stuff let's get into question 7.2.1 is a definition okay so what is power power is the rate of doing work 
Okay, and that we get two marks for that definition. Then it says calculate the reading of the ammeter. Okay, so we can use an equation from the formula sheet that says that the power is equal to the voltage times the current. Okay, we know the power of 60 was given in the question. We know the voltage is 24 of the um, cells. Uh, and so we just need I because uh, we've got a simple circuit uh, basically. So we can calculate I because that is the only unknown and I is equal to 2,5 amps. Okay, and that's that. And we get ourselves three marks. Okay, so 7.2.3, state Ohm's law. Okay, so Ohm's law, everyone should know it. Um, okay, so Ohm's law says that the current through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference across the conductor at a constant temperature. And basically what we get from this whole definition from the definition we get that V equals I times R. Okay, and we get two marks for that definition. And then question 7.2.4. Okay, so it says calculate the potential difference across the 7 ohm resistor. Okay, so potential difference is the voltage. So V equals IR using Ohm's law. We calculate the current as 2,5. Okay, and we know the resistance is 7 ohms. And so we can calculate the voltage of 17,5 volts. And we get ourselves, um, yeah, we get ourselves three marks. Okay, question 7.2.5. Calculate the reading of the voltmeter. Okay, so this voltmeter right here. Okay, so this voltmeter reading is this, the reading that is here. It's the same reading right here, V, and it's also the reading right here, V. All of these Vs are the same. Okay, so how can we do it? Okay, so the sum of the voltages uh, must equal the EMF. So we can say that the sum of the voltages must equal the EMF. Okay, um, okay so we have, uh, we calculated 17,5 volts plus V because we've done that voltage across there. Let's say that's V1. V1. The next voltage is this one that we're looking for, which is V. Uh, and then we're back to the potential, uh, the uh, battery if we're going this way around. Okay, so is equal to the EMF, and the EMF is 24 volts. So the only unknown here is the voltage V. So V is equal to 6,5 volts. I'm actually going to take the units out there. Okay, and that question's done. Okay, so question 7.2.6. Uh, okay, so it says determine the current. So let's clean this up here. Okay, so it says uh, we also know that this voltage right here we calculated as 6,5. Now uh, we know the current here is equal to 2,5. Okay, so basically it says calculate the current flowing through R. So I'm going to label this I1 and I'm going to label this I2. Okay, so uh, and let's say the main current through the entire circuit is I0. Okay, so I'm first going to work out, um, I've got the voltages uh, in this parallel branch. So I'm going to say V equals IR. So I'm looking at I1. Um, so what we have is 6,5 is equal to I1, which is the unknown, times the resistance, which is that 3 ohm resistor. Okay. That 3 ohm resistor. So I1 is equal to 2,17 amps. Okay. Then I also know that I0 equals, so this, the current going in from Kirchhoff's law, the current going in through the main circuit I0 is equal to the sum of the current split, it's getting split into. So I0 is equal to I1 plus I2. Okay, I0 I've calculated as 2,5 is equal to I1, 2,17 plus I2. Okay, so the only unknown there is I2 
So we can calculate I2 is equal to 0, 0,33 amps. And that's that. Okay. And then the last question, 7.2.7, says calculate the value of the resistance R. Okay. Again, I'm going back to uh, Ohm's law because now I know that the current through here um, is equal to 0, 0,33. And I know the voltage, so V equals IR, or I2R. Um, v, we know, is what we calculated at 6,5, is equal to I2, which is 0, 0,33, times R. And the only unknown here is R, so we can calculate R is equal to 19,70 units of ohms. Okay, and that's that. So a uh, nice question, lots of marks, a bit of theory in the beginning, um, but quite a nice question overall. Yeah, so um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you found this useful.